Get over here. You just noticed the <laughs> Don't bother the cows. You have to be prepared to be in the car most of the time and you have to be prepared to just kind of fly past a lot of stuff and the stuff that you see you have to be very picky with your time so sometimes it's just a matter of just taking a few photos and moving on but the peace and quiet the tranquility uh, the relative safety uh, the driving out here there's literally 10 minutes between vehicles and the good thing is, is you learn to pick out every vehicle is, uh, is something that you look at. Every vehicle is uh, a potential threat to your safety. And it's just one vehicle at a time. Just imagine on a regular highway and a freeway in a metropolitan area, you have six lanes of traffic. And just think of how much of your attention span that takes. So we're about 20 miles outside of Ely, Nevada, and uh, one thing that was reaffirmed was obviously you should have a full tank of gas before you head out. And there is literally zero services, uh, mostly cell service. Um, I haven't had cell service at all. So uh, as far as my navigation goes, that was kind of a wing and a prayer mostly an inconvenience because uh, the distance is so vast over the uh, over these various mountain ranges that you lose track of uh, the time it takes to get places uh, it's kind of a, a good experience Feels like you've gone to another planet that's just sparsely inhabited and there's just little pods of people one thing i will say is there is a ton of truck traffic in fact i think uh i think there's more trucks on this road oversized trucks than that all right we just entered ely elevation 6400 this high up in the mountains. It's beautiful. stay in the Hotel Nevada.
don't totally have a Route 66 vibe here because U.S. Highway 6 and U.S. Highway 50 were both very important highways that predate the interstate. So this is kind of the critical junction point where if you're head, headed straight down 50, you would be going to San Francisco. And if you made a left turn and headed south, you'd be going to Los Angeles. What a cool place. Holy crap. But it's, uh, it's pretty tore up right now. Alright, so here's our hotel. Hopefully they'll let us check in. Well, I guess this is the parking lot. Hey, we're here. Oh, hey, look, there's dogs in here. This is real simple, real old fashioned. Oh, cool, we have scintillating lights outside our window. All right, well, we're here in beautiful White Pine County, Nevada, in the town of Ely. And we're just under 6,500 feet in elevation. And the population of this fine town is just under 4,000. This is where we're staying tonight. Our room faces just over there. So it's pretty safe to say that we're downtown. And it's the dead of winter. So we're not gonna spend a whole lot of time outdoors today. I'm just gonna walk around this area and check out the Ely Arts District, so it's called. And like most downtowns, it has these beautiful ground level retail space that goes unused. So there's a bar, looks like it's open. So there's a lot of railroad themed art pieces in this town and there's a railroad museum that unfortunately you probably won't be able to go to because it's getting late in the afternoon. But I was kind of surprised I was just kind of thumbing through the Wikipedias and uh, this was not the mainline transcontinental railroad, this was a spur. So essentially, like Tonopah, this came into being at the t just after the turn of the century. So it was still the Old West, but just a little bit more contemporary. Jailhouse Casino. So they don't seem quite as dog friendly here as they did in Tonopah, so it feels a little awkward. So we're not going to do any casino hopping tonight.
middle school. So it must be like the entire county's school population comes into town. It's kind of weird. Parkview Motel. All right, so I think we've gone far enough for our purposes. So they had quite a bit of snow here. And that looks like Uncle Buck's car. That is Uncle Buck's car. You know, we could have stayed at the jailhouse motel, but maybe next time. 
Oh my god, is that a cigarette machine? Ooh, yes, there is. Cigarette machine. Twitter, $25 in free play, is sitting at machine number 9416. That's machine number 9416. You guys ready to go? Ely, well, I wish we could have done a little bit more, but when we got here, it was in the 20s. It's beautiful, but these little Southern California natives here are not used to this stuff. So our best bet is to get in the car and go south. So next stop is Las Vegas. And I think we have a pretty, pretty boring drive on the way down there. So should be uneventful.
this is a beautiful town, but it's uh, brutally cold. It's, it's kind of oppressive. Let's go see what's up here. Oh no, never mind. There's ice. Nine degrees. All these old motels. From a different era. It just feels like we've traveled farther than we actually did. It's still a couple hundred miles, but definitely felt longer than that. This is like an ice skating rink. Old cemetery. That pristine snow. Oh, that's beautiful. All right. All right. Well, look at how beautiful. All right. Not my specialty driving on ice. I'm sure everyone in town knows that this is uh, an idiotic thing to do, driving a two-wheel drive vehicle on the ice. So not surprisingly, Ely is not the best place to visit in the dead of winter unless you're fully prepared for it. But this has been a lot of fun. Um, this is a part of the country that just you're not drawn to. There's not a whole lot of reasons to be out here other than the fact that you're in your little sealed bubble. It's 18 degrees outside right now and I am fully comfortable being in the car right now and on to the next destination. There's not a whole lot for me to do outside in the snow right now, except hang out in my car on my way to somewhere warmer. So we're gonna head to Vegas, which is someplace nice and warm. It's supposed to be 65 degrees there. 
and it will be a nice change from what we've experienced, but this is just absolutely spectacularly beautiful, wide open spaces, and I'm just gonna enjoy the trip. So let's go to Vegas.